But first, the orders of the moons in the solar system. So Mercury would have Neptune's moons, Venus would have Uranus's, and so on. Okay, so I've done exactly that. And as you can see, the orbits are already looking a bit wild in the inner solar system. So Mercury has Neptune's moons, Venus has Uranus's, Earth has Saturn's, Mars has Jupiter's. Jupiter has Mars's moons, and lastly, Saturn has the moon of Earth. Pretty, pretty easy, uh, Saturn's going to hold on to that moon. Jupiter is actually so large that Mars's moons are engulfed by the size of Jupiter. So those moons are inside Jupiter, so they're already out of the equation as well. So it's the inner solar system we'll be keeping tabs on. So for instance, Mercury here, we'll just start with Mercury. Here they all are. Let's go ahead and press play and see if they hold on. So there we go. So the inner moons of Neptune, all the way up to Proteus there, are in. We've got Triton in orbit of Mercury. Now, do they hold on is the question. So they're orbiting for now. The further away moons of Neptune, like Nereid, Nesso, the furthest moon in the solar system, they're already around the sun, they're so far away. Venus, with the Uranian system, can Venus hold on to those? Possibly. I have high hopes of Venus here, because none of Uranus's moons are that large. So we've got Miranda, Ariel, Umbriel, Titania, and Oberon. Hopefully Venus can hold on to those. I'm hoping it will. I think that'd be quite cool. Earth, holding the moons of Saturn, maybe a different story. There's a lot of moons of Saturn. The inner moons, you've got Titan on the outskirts there. I don't know if that's going to last. And then lastly, the Galilean moons, especially around Jupiter. Th this is a recipe for disaster. We've done this experiment before. We'll speed it up because, as you can see already, Callisto, Ganymede, Io, Europa, they're breaking away. They'll Mars cannot hold on to these things. The sun's control is a lot stronger in this region. Mars doesn't have enough gravity of its own to actually hold these in. So as you can see, the Galileo moons are breaking away. There could be a potential collision here. There's Callisto broken away. Io's on an eccentric orbit. That's been slung out. Mars is broken. That's all of it. It's gone. Completely lost already. So that's Mars out. With enough given time, we've run it for over 50 years now, the simulation. Earth is the only object left that still has stuff in orbit. Mercury, I've just checked, it only has one moon left. Venus is completely wrecked, so the Uranium moons eventually breaked away and ejected each other. But Earth, the only thing left, the most... Dominant object in the inner system with the most mass is just about holding on to some of Saturn's inner moons, as we can see. Tethys, Rhea is still in there, so there's a few, uh, few big names left. But other than that, the other solar system objects are a complete wreck, as we can see from the orbits.